been doing more sports. Uh, Kevin Durant and uh, Michael Rappaport has been uh, having this argument on social media for like a, maybe a week or so. And uh, they, the Michael Rappaport exposed, uh, to me, that was a bitch-ass move. Because grown men have a conversation, we text and whatever. You don't expose to the world the conversation, right? No. So he exposed the conversation. I guess Kevin Durant said something derogatory about this man's wife. And it went on. And then now Kevin Durant has got fined $50,000 for the stuff he has said um, to Michael Rappaport. And Michael Rappaport tried to come today and say, I'm sorry, whatever. And we let him into the cookout. That might be our fault a little bit too much. We let him too far into the cookout. You know, I mean, he did some things. He did high learning. I think he did next Friday. And I think he did a thing for Trial Court Quest. I think he produced uh, Beats to the Rhyme, that documentary. So he got his thoughts on that. I, I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. I think that was, but but at the same time, um, I I hold Durant more responsible. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You remember you was a kid and your mother leave the oldest person in charge. Mm -hmm. and you're, like, you know what? you're gonna get it because you you was the one that was in charge of everybody. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, Kevin Durant, I've never seen a a, a, a more unhappy multimillionaire. He just cannot. <laughs> He just cannot help it. When 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 we was kids, they used to tell the sticks and stones or break your bones and they never hurt you. Like they did everything they could to let you know, feel so good about yourself that you won't be affected by someone else's depiction of you. Why he feels the need to respond to everybody. You cannot fight on every front. And it, and it makes me think then you are what they say you are if you respond to it. It'd be like right now you say, Kelvin, you know what? You a giraffe. Why am I gonna argue with you over saying something that I already know? Why would I do that? And that's the thing. So I, I don't, I don't understand him. Rappaport played him. That's all he did. He played him. It gave. I mean, I mean, really, realistically, who talks about Michael Rappaport all the time? Like it's not really a big issue. You know what I'm saying? And Durant is about to win a championship if he could ever get back on the floor. Yeah, but yeah. you said the best. Like, like he went at Stephen A. Smith. Like he, he's went at Shannon Sharp. Kevin, my issue with Kevin Durant is you only respond to the negative stuff people say like when somebody says something good you don't even say you don't report you don't post that like like yeah. why are you so overly sensitive bro like one thing you can't be you can't play in new york city and be that goddamn sensitive you can't be a black man in the united states of america and be that <laughs> that's very true yeah that is very yeah. upset because somebody don't like me when's the yeah. last time in your life you <laughs> said, i'm upset because somebody don't like me. Yeah. I don't like that same person to come and pay these Con Ed bills. That's what I want to talk about. Somebody don't like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I, was, I was watching Shannon Sharp. He was saying he had something to say about Durant. He was, you know, same, but like you mentioned, he said he's got a problem with Michael Rappaport. He's got a problem with Stephen A. Smith. He's got a problem with Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp was like, listen, I got children almost your age. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not even going to. What would I look like going back and forth with you? You know what I mean? That was the proper response from an OG. You know what I mean? From mm -hmm. an older guy. You know, right. but um, you know, but now, but this guy, Durant, like you say, man, he's just entirely too sensitive, and you know, maybe, and and and, and maybe that's just a symptom of you know the upbringing right now, as you say. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. He's got to get it together though, because New York and, my, and Michael Rappaport, that was a bitch ass move from that. Oh like, yeah, men, listen, men, men, men don't do. You shouldn't do right. that. Right, but see, yeah, but yeah. here's the thing: the book is out on Durant now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They know how to get. They know how to get at him. They know how to get his hackles up now. You know, yeah. you want some. You want some free press. You want to make a little buzz. Say something about Durant. He's gonna say snap off and Durant. say something. Yeah. It, you know? And he need. And he need to not watch it because he got to. He should get, to get ready for the games. Yeah. 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 You, 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 you done played one game more than I did this year. So I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it. Yeah. You guys remember Jason Williams, the guy, the uh, basketball yeah. player to play for? Bro, uh, me and Brad used to hang out his bar. St. Okay. John University. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw Jason Williams in an interview a long, long time ago, and he said something that was so profound to me. He said, he said that um, they asked him in an interview, "Why are you always laughing? Why are you always smiling? Why are you always so happy?" He said, "I'm a black man. I'm rich. I'm in the NBA. I'm good looking. What in the world could I be unhappy about?" And I and the thing is, this is the same thing with Kevin Durant. You're rich. You're in the NBA. Okay, he might not be handsome, but bottom line, <laughs> you know, all the other things he qualifies for. The thing is, he doesn't realize that when people talk about you, that means that's good. That's not. Yeah. That's not always bad. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's good. That means you're relevant. Yeah, he's gonna put in himself in a bad position one day with himself being so freaking sensitive, and somebody's gonna bait him into something. That he's not going to be able to get himself out of. And just like you say, you keep playing with him, you keep pushing him, he's going to do something stupid. 
He has nothing that he should ever be upset about that anybody can say about him. Dude, you're on top of the world. You got to be kidding me. Yeah. Right, but he's still not happy. You know why? Because I don't care. He's got some, so he, needs, he, needs, he needs counseling. There's something wrong with him. All the external things does not change how you feel on the inside. It just doesn't. That's just the bottom line. And there's something inside of that brother that is unsettled. Yes, you know what I'm saying, and for the sake of uh, our sponsors, I won't say what I think it is, but I'll just say <laughs> what we what we all think it is. What we all okay, think right, right. Is. Don't don't you say it like that? Because look at D. D is tempted, boy. He can't help I, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. D, don't say it. D, don't you say it. Don't you say it. Right now, D is working hard. No, I mean, yeah, you, don't say it. Kevin Durant might have been. <laughs> Kevin Durant might be seen at the Blue Oyster once in a while. There you go. We he just said it. He couldn't help himself. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. Rod just gave him the ball and said, run the clock out. Now, D. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I want to say before, last thing I want to say on Kevin Durant, I think he wants to get his hairstyles in Minnesota, in Minneapolis. <laughs> the brother, the brother, there's a thousand barbers in Brooklyn, bro. Get a little fade, man. Get get, get something, bro. Like, get me shit one over. Dang. You, got a, you got a lot of millions, man. Get a haircut, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>